Hello, hello. Okay, let's see. Beautiful. All right, it's 3.30. I'm going to give people a couple of minutes. super excited. It's Friday. It's only like two more weeks until Christmas Eve. Hello, hello. I see two viewers. Please go ahead and put your name in the comments and where you're watching from so I know that you're here. Facebook doesn't let me see who's watching. So let's see. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So welcome everyone. Happy Friday. So like I said, make sure you put your name in the comments. Even if you're watching the replay of this, that just lets me know who watched. And if you have any questions, please go ahead and pop them in the comments. I will check it every now and then, and I will go back and answer any questions as well. So in today's fertility masterclass, I'm going to show you how I got pregnant naturally and I was actually able to cancel my appointment with a fertility specialist. So if you are struggling with fertility and you've been trying to conceive for months or even years, then you are in the right place. My name is Dr. Katie Wood and I am a pharmacist and integrative fertility coach with over nine years of experience. My husband and I struggled to get pregnant ourselves, and I experienced firsthand the lack of sound guidance and support for women who are trying to conceive and who are trying to do everything they can to optimize their fertility and improve their chances of conceiving. So this really, it lit a fire in me, a passion inside of me to educate and empower women so they can feel confident and at ease on their journey to motherhood. So if this resonates with you, definitely, you know, leave a comment. Hi, Holly. Hi, Deanna. Ooh, Florida. Very nice. I'm sure it's beautiful there. It is 33 degrees here in New York, but the sun is actually out today. So I'll take it because it's been gloomy and rainy. So you all may already know this, but there is a huge misconception about the process of being able to get pregnant and that if you don't achieve this by a certain point that you must not be able to conceive naturally, right? I feel like that's how society has us feeling as women. If we don't do it by a certain time, then there must be something wrong with us. So today I'm going to share with you why you don't need to resort to medicated cycles, IUI, or IVF to get pregnant, even if you've been trying without success and how I was able to get pregnant naturally, and I'm gonna walk you through it. So first I'll share how I discovered that if you're struggling to conceive and you're told that your only option to get pregnant is through medicated cycles, IUI, or IVF, this is simply, it's not true, okay? And it doesn't have to be your truth and it doesn't have to be your journey necessarily. Then I'll share with you three secrets to achieving a healthy pregnancy for yourself. So those secrets are secret number one, how you can get pregnant naturally without medicated cycles, IUI or IVF by optimizing your fertility through nutrition, lifestyle and energetic alignment. Secret number two, even if you think your body is unable to conceive at this point because you've tried everything under the sun, you can still get pregnant naturally through intentional changes to your overall diet, lifestyle choices, and mind-body connection. Secret number three, how you can absolutely get pregnant naturally even if you hold fear that you're working against the clock and your egg quality is diminishing. So before I get into the nitty gritty details, let me share how I actually discovered this. So when my husband and I decided to start our family, I was coming off of 13 years of birth control, nearly half of my lifetime I was on birth control, and I consulted with my OB at the time when I should discontinue it before trying to conceive, 
and I was basically told I could stop my birth control in the same month that we began trying. So that's what we did. You know, months went by of negative pregnancy tests, and whenever I asked for guidance or support from my OB, all I was told was, I'm healthy, and to just keep trying. So the truth was, my body had to heal from the years of birth control use, among other things, and I had to do a lot of my own research and a lot of my own inner healing to discover that. So nine months into my fertility journey, when I asked for help, again, basically pleaded for help, um, I was basically told I should schedule an appointment with a fertility specialist um, around the one year mark because they tend to book up. So basically don't wait until the one year mark to then book an appointment. So that's the advice I was given. And I mean, it's it's awful to, to not be given any actionable steps that you want to do, you want to take so badly to improve your fertility. And there was never any discussion about nutrition, lifestyle. She never even took any labs. So how she could tell me that I was healthy is absolutely beyond me. So hi, Lindsay. Hello, hello. I see six viewers on. So please introduce yourself in the comments. Thanks for showing up on a Friday afternoon. So that being said, let's get into the details of how to make this happen for yourself. The first secret is how to get pregnant naturally with nutrition, lifestyle, and energetic alignment. The idea here is that you don't need medicated cycles, IUI, or IVF to get pregnant. So one in eight women will experience fertility struggles, and about 33% of Americans have turned to fertility treatments or know someone who has. I have spoken with so many women who are left feeling frustrated, overwhelmed, gaslighted and misguided by their providers and end up feeling as if their bodies are broken or something is wrong with them. So I know I experienced this, you know, let me know in the comments if you had the same experience. I know that we all have our own journeys. So on top of the influence that society puts on women to be able to conceive immediately, women also place a lot of pressure on themselves to get pregnant on a certain timeline, and when that doesn't happen, panic sets in, okay? Women look to Google for answers and eventually seek guidance from their providers, just like I did, and are told to try for one year before receiving any help. So after one year goes by, then what? I mean, pretty much the next steps that are offered are fertility treatments, including medicated cycles, IUI, and potentially IVF. And this is typically suggested without first addressing nutrition, lifestyle factors, mind-body connection, and more. This is a huge red flag. And I'm hearing from a lot of women who have attempted many Clomid and Letrozole cycles and IUIs, and they're so frustrated with their fertility specialist who haven't once mentioned any patient-centered nutrition or supplements that will improve your chances of basically these, you know, fertility treatments to succeed. So why is that? That doesn't make any sense to me. So this leads me to reported success rates of these fertility treatments, which can vary from study to study and clinic to clinic. So a, a review on several studies on Clomid found that yes, 73% of women eventually ovulated, but only 36% achieved a pregnancy, and only 29% gave live birth. So, and then another 2014 study published in the New England Journal of Medicine found that a little over 27% of women with PCOS who took letrozole had a successful birth compared to 19.5% who took Clomid. So we're talking under 30% chance here. The miscarriage rate for Clomid and Letrozole stands at about 30%. And really a big reason for this is because the underlying cause of the fertility issue is not being addressed. We're basically 
forcing something to happen without making sure that the foundation is solid. So success rates for IUI in women under 35 years is about 10 to 20% chance of pregnancy. And then this decreases to 10% in women aged 35 to 40 and drops even farther to two to 5% in women above 40. So not to mention, it requires multiple IUIs. So around three to four rounds to achieve a pregnancy, which as I stated, happens in about five to 10% of women, depending on your age and your health. So then we go into IVF success rates and it's found in young, healthy women uh, to succeed in roughly 40% of cases, although it can take two to three cycles to achieve this, and success rates declines with age. So the problem I have at the end of the day with this model is that women are being misguided and told to wait one year without any initial discovery of root causes and then are thrown into a cascade of fertility interventions that not only cost you financially but also physically with a lot of unwanted side effects emotionally as you can see success rates are not guaranteed and success stories typically require to go through multiple rounds of treatment there is such a huge disconnection of treating the person as a whole and not addressing underlying root causes like progesterone, okay? I'm sure we're all pretty familiar with progesterone. It is the pregnancy hormone. It is what you need to sustain and maintain a healthy pregnancy. So if, if that is an underlying issue and you're not addressing it, then an IUI or an IVF may not work for you, you know? If you have a hormonal imbalance that's affecting a healthy ovulation, you know, those are things that can be looked at and, and healed and fixed. If you have a thyroid issue that maybe you don't know about, because a lot of times doctors only test for TSH and not the whole thyroid panel to get a really good picture of your thyroid health. If you have blood sugar, you know, issues, if you have PCOS, you're pretty much automatically told that your only way to get pregnant is through medication and IUI. Um, you know, all of these things are so important and relevant to maintaining a healthy pregnancy. And then you have male factor infertility, which can actually contribute to almost 50% of cases. I've heard of a lot of women having multiple IUIs done before they've even had, you know, their partner the sperm tested. So I'm sure you could imagine where the disconnect there is. So with fertility treatments, you have to do all of these things that you don't want, right? None, no one wants to have to go through medications, IUIs, or getting poked and prodded for an IVF. Nobody wants to do that. But with my fertility method, that is not a problem. So this means you can get pregnant without having to go through multiple failed attempts at medicated cycles, IUI, or IVF. Now I know what you might be thinking. You're thinking, how can I possibly get pregnant on my own? I have already tried everything, and I remember feeling the same way. Well, this brings me to my next secret. The second secret is how to get pregnant even if you've lost the belief that you can on your own. So the idea here is even if you struggle to conceive for months or years, you can still get pregnant naturally. And here's why. Around 30% of couples will conceive in the first month of trying. I know, great for them, but <laughs> that does not constitute the majority of people. 85% of couples will conceive within one year of trying, and that goes up to 90% of couples will conceive within two years, okay? And this is really why it's so common, although not any less frustrating, to hear from your provider to try for one year before seeking help. 
But the problem with the conventional standard of treating women, trying to conceive and telling them to try for a year first is, number one, there is zero or very little conversation about nutrition. Nutrition can support our hormone health, our egg quality, our fertility, okay? Food is medicine at the end of the day. And, but remember, doctors get very minimal education or nutrition. And it's pretty much one of your best options to improve your chances of conceiving naturally or through fertility treatments. Number two, there's no conversation to address lifestyle or environmental factors, which can have a huge impact negative or positive on your overall health and fertility. And number three, your provider is not there every month to provide you the emotional and nervous system support as you move through the ups and downs from cycle to cycle. Number four, women as a whole, we are lacking our inner wisdom and connection with our bodies and our menstrual cycles, which can make it difficult to read and understand our signs and symptoms that our fertile window is coming and the ovulation is on the way. So it's estimated in 2019 that over 65% of women aged 15 to 49 in the, the U.S. were on contraception. So like look at my case, I was on it for 13 years, stopped, immediately started trying. That gave me absolutely no time to kind of get to know my body again because for 13 years I had not had a natural cycle and number five in probably even most importantly next to nutrition we all hold trauma in our bodies all of us whether it be from childhood a previous abortion a miscarriage if we had a severe illness an accident a loss of a loved one and your doctor doesn't have the time, the desire, or the qualifications to help you move through these traumas and release them. Because traumas at the end of the day can block a healthy conception and it's not talked about nearly enough, especially in the conventional space. So this means that with the right guidance, you can get pregnant naturally. And I believe this with my heart. Without doubting that your body is capable at this point in your journey. And I know you're probably thinking, I'm running out of time, my biological clock is ticking. Well, that brings me to the next secret. The third secret is how you can absolutely get pregnant naturally, even if you're holding fear in your body, that you're working against the clock and your egg quality is diminishing. So the idea here is that even if you're 35 or older, or maybe you're 34 and a half, you can still get pregnant naturally. So per the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, a woman's peak reproductive years are within our late teens to late 20s. As we hit age 30, fertility begins to slowly and steadily decline, and this decline becomes more rapid once you reach your mid-30s and into your 40s. The decline is also seen with fertility treatments, including IUI and IVF. And I'm sure we've all heard of the term geriatric pregnancy after you hit the age 35. But this is not necessarily true, especially for all women, okay? And I'm here to tell you that as a healthcare provider, I do not subscribe to this belief and this terminology that is commonly you know, said to women in the conventional space. So we have something called chronological age and biological age. Chronological age is the number of years that we have been on this earth after birth, okay? Biological age is affected by external factors such as diet, lifestyle, environment, and more. The state of our DNA reflects this, okay? Basically, that has an impact on our egg quality. Here's where it gets juicy, okay? I cannot change the fact that I'm 30, 33 and a half. I almost said 35. <laughs> 33 and a half. 
I'm getting closer to 35 and I'm okay with that. But I can tell you, I certainly embody and I embrace the fact that I hold me, I hold the power to improve and lower my biological age, right? Because remember, our biological age is affected by factors that we can control, that we can change. Lifestyle, you know, some things in our environment, our diet, so many things that we hold the power, okay? So what this means is even though I'm 33, I could have a biological age of a 28 year old. Or alternatively, I could have a biological age of a 38 year old. It all boils down to how you nourish and care for your body, your body, your mind and spirit. Okay, are you I'm wondering, are you guys starting to kind of see a theme here how it all ties in? So this means you can get pregnant naturally without fearing that you're running out of time. So let's recap everything that we've learned and gone over today. So I showed you secret number one, how to get pregnant naturally without medicated cycles, IUI or IVF, by optimizing your fertility through nutrition, lifestyle, and energetic alignment. I showed you secret number two, how to get pregnant naturally, even if you think your body is unable to conceive at this point, because you've tried everything through intentional changes to overall diet, lifestyle choices, and our mind-body connection. And I showed you secret number three, how to get pregnant naturally, even if you hold fear that you're working against the clock and your egg quality is diminishing. So let me ask you a question. If you have the choice of doing this all yourself without any guidance and having someone who has already done it time and time again help you guide you support you and work with you to get the results which would you choose type one in the chat if you would prefer to keep doing what you're doing and go at it alone or type two in the chat if you would rather have help and guidance okay i'm going to give you guys a minute and i'm just going to take a sip of water Okay, I see a two and that's great because if you're interested in getting pregnant naturally, then I'd like to tell you about my upcoming program that will teach you just that. It's called Confident Conception Collective and it is designed to optimize your fertility and chances of getting pregnant and have a healthy pregnancy. I plan on charging a much, much higher price for this premium coaching program when I officially launch it, where I will come alongside you and help you. But if you're on this webinar today, and I applaud you for being here, I have some really, really good and exciting news. I'm looking for beta students. So I'm going to offer this program for an extremely discounted price. Okay, this is not a course where you watch some videos and hope for results you will be able to ask questions in real time, get live coaching on your personal situation instead of just watching recorded videos. You will have full access to me. The reason I'm not doing this is, or the reason I'm doing this is because before I go out to the public, I want to create a ton of amazing case studies beforehand. So I'm going to make it my personal mission to get you results so that it's a win-win for both of us. I will work hard for your testimonial so then I can get your, your case study as social proof for my full program launch. The only catch is this, you have to agree to become a case study for my program after I get you some pretty amazing results, okay? If you're not willing to share your results, then I wouldn't you know, take the offer and I'm not doing it for the money, I'm doing it for the future of my, my program and so I can show up and help women get what you all want to, you all desire. You all desire to have more children or to become a mother. So if you'd like to participate, go to the link in the comments, 
and book a call with me. I'm going to post it right now. So you can go to that link in the comments and I will only offer this beta version of the Confident Conception Collective one time at this extreme discount. So if you want to explore more of how this can work for you to have my help, I want you to click on the link in the comments and book a call with me personally. And remember, I only have five spots. And once these five spots are taken, I will be launching this course at a much higher investment. So now is the time to take action. So book a call with me right now. The link is in the comments. And I want to thank you for watching on this Friday afternoon. And I really, really look forward to speaking with you. If you have any questions, then let me know.